one hour from the city. And we moved many times. So I grew up between city and the farm and the village. And I brought my friends from the city into the village and the village to the, to the, to the city. And I was able to connect these two worlds. And then it's the Velo Beer when from South America I went to Europe. At first it was Argentina and Germany. And then it was Germany, Mexico, or Mexico, the US. And through the training and the journey, after all the healings, develop South Hemisphere, North Hemisphere, West Hemisphere, East Hemisphere. For me, it went bigger and bigger and bigger, connecting spirituality in modern world, connecting different cultures. And the big bridge for me in my life was the spiritual wisdom from the Americas. It was the bridge that connect my inner world and my life. My life with my inner world and my inner world with my life. And brought all these pieces that I was able to integrate in the now, today that I offer to others. The bridge is something natural. Like I can say, so I have dark hair. Or like a tan in my skin. This is an ability that naturally happened to me. Or I received. The calling is something different. The calling from spirit is something that you feel inside you and grow and grow and beats. It's alive. And knock you. Tuck, 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 tuck. I'm here. Are you ready to go? Let's go. Let's embark in our journey. The journey of the soul. The journey of growing more and more into a happy life and who you really are becoming and who I am becoming. I'm becoming more that I'm now than I was yesterday. I'm becoming more that what I'm doing today than I did yesterday. I'm becoming my essence. That is what I'm becoming. And some people, they don't know the essence of themselves. It's not bad. It's not good. It's, it's, it's not in the way. It's, it's just in the, in the moment. It's part of the process. As we say, when we are growing a little... No. In kindergarten, then we go to school, and, 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 and spirit guide us in this process of life. Really guide us. And this essence is who I am becoming and who I truly are. And you know the essence of you. You know it. And the path is to be more and more and more in this space and who you are. Yeah, Maya Clara, yeah. thank you for being here from San Francisco, <laughs> the Bucharest. Yeah. yeah, and the four direction journey, the calling. When I was hearing you speaking in uh, that great, beautiful field mm. about um, your life. 
the space from your words. Mm. We're speaking about. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you. So, no, no, the essence of what we are, and the crisis that we have, and the difference, and the distance between our inner most precious life and our outer life, sometimes quite a distance, nothing to do. Sometimes it is an idea. What I mean with that is sometimes we give too much energy to the idea or we believe that this idea is a distance. You know, we're perhaps too much focused and um, in the out world, and um, and that is what create a gap between the inner world and the out world. And and for that, there are so many tools to help us to get realigned and to get back inwards. You know, so that after that, your inner world is a it start to express outside. You know? So. When I think that mm -hmm. it's quite a distance between my essence and my life, mm -hmm. this is a construction which I energize with, and so I'm building my own trap, mm -hmm. thinking that I am trapped in this distance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's so this is the problem, this is not the perspective in a way. I think it's sometimes it's uh, more the ego <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> trying to tell that. Because if we see, um, I come always to the example of the children. The children. You know, when children or people on the mountain or people that live with simplicity, mm -hmm. you know. Um, in general, it's, it's, I'm not uh, talking about having things or not material things. So yeah. what I'm talking about is the simplicity from the heart. When we're in this simplicity from the heart and in life, so that it's no gap, it's no distance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, you, you start to be free and 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 um, and what you see and you speak and you do is an expression of your heart, of your essence, manifesting itself. So it does, it's no more this connection there or distance per se. In my okay. perspective. So as long. As I, we are in our mind, we are creating words of distance and splitting, conceptual world thinking, but when we simply feel our heart, mm -hmm. all this vanished. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it could be very practical, mm -hmm. you know, not, not always we need to go in meditation in a monastery yeah. to do this, so sacredness could be Here for here now from a mother, you know, having a baby, they're screaming mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the ones that they have kids, they know how that feels, you know, early in the morning when you wake up and uh, and a baby want uh, to drink or they have something. So you, you can, when we put all the, the heart into it, it's so sacred, you know, or um, whatever what we're doing. And the moment when we open the heart and we start to see with the eyes of the heart, it transforms in so much sacredness and so much beauty. And, um, and also there was a process for me to learn that. For me it was a process. Yes, I was yes. more thinker. I, I, somebody come with a background, I don't know, personality or more thinking and I'm very analytical. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, um, and I was in a time where for me, sacredness, holiness, or spirituality, or this feeling of the soul was um, just only in a space of a spiritual space, for example, yeah, yeah. in religion, or in a workshop, or uh, in a meditation, or in a contemplation, so not but the, not, not the in the daily the, life. Not the daily life, yeah. And, and, and start, you know, to be a process until I discover that. Um, I give you an example. Uh, story. Two years ago, I was with friends in the Titicaca, you know. For those who weren't there, it's an expansion, it's beautiful, so much peace. We were f 
three weeks long doing ceremony, spiritual work, and uh, we were, you know, having this blissful, amazing sensation. And, um, and we were there, and, and my friends from New York, they say, Maria Clara, ask the shaman, how can we expand and extend this feeling when we are back in New York? Or at least keep them. Well, yeah, exactly. How, you know, how, how can we do it? And uh, I asked the shaman, and he looked at me, and he didn't get the question. And I said to my friend, mm, yes. he didn't understand. So I asked him again, again. you mm -hmm. know, so how can we bring all these amazing feelings of peace, of freedom, of love mm -hmm. into the city? And he didn't get a question. And the moment, you know, and the third time, he started to look to me and I to him saying, okay, how, you know, here's something, something that, why he didn't get the question. And so he said to me, Maria Clara, I'm a farmer. He didn't say, I'm a shaman, I'm a farmer. So when I'm, you know, they are, they live in the high mountains in Peru and the Andes. Mm -hmm. When I'm there, uh, I need to take care uh, of my community, of the llamas, of the, um, you know, the cultivation of the potatoes yes. and maize. But I do my meditations. What he wanted to say is, I do my inner work. I still connect it. Doesn't matter what I'm doing, I'm connected. And I've seen these guys, you know, also because um, more and more people in Europe and in other countries invite them to um, join different kind of um, workshops. And I have seen them, and if they're in ceremony in Peru or in New York or in San Francisco or in Germany, they are always wearing the poncho because they, they have a poncho. Mm -hmm. But for me, it was the metaphor in that. The it's metaphor. not the yes. poncho per se, the poncho. Yeah, yeah. is they are being himself 24 hours, seven days in a week. All what they're doing for them is spiritual. All what they're doing from them is come from the heart, is from mm -hmm. the soul. It's, 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 they don't separate, you know, doing my work is here, feeling does is here, or my vision and my dreams are there. It's, it's totally aligned. aligned. It's totally aligned. And, and that is yeah. the essence of us, you know. And to, to get your, your being aligned, mm -hmm. it's quite a process, and then to m maintain. Yeah. So you can fall, fall down uh, in any day if you... Yeah, yeah that's, you know, we're a human person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's the practice, you know, it is the practice. Yeah, and, here, here. Um, it is, so how one of these um, integration or alignment, I would say, is mm -hmm. sometimes we are not aware that we are doing what we don't feel so really from the heart, mm -hmm. from your soul. Or what is, you're not doing what is aligned with your vision, with your dreams. So you are not in your way in a way. You know, you are doing something, something but, but it it's doesn't quite, match to your heart mm -hmm. and to your vision. Yeah. Or Lots sometimes people, you're yes. feeling something, you know, but it's not aligned with. Mm -hmm. So there's these three ideas or centers, the expression of who I am of, through my work, maybe may be in alignment and connected with the heart so through you you show the, the this area of the body yes. my work yes. exactly is 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 the work the expression the mm -hmm. expression mm -hmm. of of uh yeah the expression of my work mm -hmm. uh, to be of aligned my with actions actions to so the that heart. my action may uh, be in right relationship the expression of my feelings, of the love, of this agape, of this unconditional mm -hmm. love, the and agape. this love mm -hmm. without conditions, right? Maybe also in um, in right relationship or attune with my essence and my mm -hmm. dreams, my vision, my 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 knowledge, my information, my expression of of um, my intelligence, also, you know. So, if a forty years old a woman come to you asking to be her mentor, for example, mm -hmm. and ask you, Maria Clara, you see, I'm, 
I feel that this is not my life. Mm -hmm. I feel that what I'm doing now, eight hours a day, it's use, useless, even though I, I work hard mm -hmm. to have this profession. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do, the person continue. Mm -hmm. Because I cannot, I don't want to, to lose all what I invest. I like in a way my profession, but the institution, I feel so, so, there, there are the smell of, of anger, the smell of, I don't, of nonsense. Mm -hmm. What, what shall I do? Yeah, for me, this woman is missing the, um, the, 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 the pur a purpose or meaning, you know. Yes, so they have done a lot of things and have reached them and mm -hmm. accomplished them, mm -hmm. but she's not satisfied. N not because at all. Then the satisfaction, satisfaction, satisfaction lasts, you know, just five minutes after shopping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But fulfillment is something else, you know. And when these uh, these questions comes, um, is because uh, they are looking for fulfillment. They are looking for the soul. They are looking for a calling. That looking for something that is much much bigger that I have done okay. until now. It's mm -hmm. not that is um, what I have done before. It's not good. It's not that. You know, mm -hmm. it's part of the process, part of the maturity, it's part mm -hmm. of, mm -hmm. of what is supporting me to come today, mm -hmm. who I am. But it's much more than that. In general, in general, I think is um, sometimes we identify who we are with what I'm doing or what I have learned. Mm -hmm. What we have or do instead of what we are. For example, I am Latino, mm -hmm. or I am a doctor, or mm -hmm. I'm an engineer, or mm -hmm. I'm a man, or uh, I'm, I'm African, or I'm an Asian, or I'm a um, uh, mother, I'm a spouse, you know, I'm uh, responsible for, I'm a cancer survival. All these I am. Mm -hmm. But I'm not that. It's something that happened to me. It's something that perhaps I'm doing. It's it's. It's a role, it is, it's a something that yeah. I can, it's an expression, but it's not who I am. So, what are you, Maria Clara? Who I am? Yeah. <laughs> um, I can say many things who I am, you know. So, from one perspective, so literally we can say I'm a simple woman, you know, mm -hmm. just a woman. And from another perspective, I can say, you know what, I'm a luminous being. Luminous I am full being. of love, and I see that in you too. And we mirror each other, you know, everybody mm -hmm. in this world, mm -hmm. every person, mm -hmm. every, mm -hmm. every person yeah. is an yes. amazing, luminous being. Luminous and being. Um, sometimes this word sounds, um, perhaps not, not everybody can identify or relate with, with, with this word, but... Um, when you come in the heart, we understand what it means, you know, mm -hmm. and um, and that is the essence for everybody, everybody, yeah, you know. Yeah, so that yeah. we we are seeing now uh, some pictures, beautiful pictures with yeah. you and uh, different uh, personalities and. Here, for example, the mountains. There's Juana Pasa, and Osangate, Alberto in class, Marcela, his wife. Alberto. Is yeah, Alberto is all, that uh, is in a class and yeah, mm -hmm. it's an altar when our students come, so they, they put an altar, mm -hmm. exactly. Uh, I think, yes, now we, we uh, Dr. Alberto Bilodo, <laughs> yes. yeah, everybody knows about him, so you work with the, uh, the doctor. Yeah, presently I'm, yeah, I'm a member of his team, you know, in the faculty as assistant teacher. Assistant I teacher. work in the office um, okay. as an academic advisor, mm -hmm. as a um, coordinator mm -hmm. of several programs mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm one of his graduates and also shaman practitioner mm -hmm. and um, shall we see a short uh, video with the doctor please yeah mm -hmm. sure. mm -hmm. yes and uh, shamanic spiritual
experiences and mainstream modern leading edge neuroscience. Hi, my name is Alberto Violdo, and I'd like to tell you about One Spirit Medicine. In order for us to heal ourselves, we need to step beyond the Western paradigm of disease. In the ancient shamanic traditions, there was only one ailment, which was our disconnection from spirit, and only one treatment, which was One Spirit Medicine. One Spirit Medicine is founded on three principles. The first one is that we have to repair our brain. When we repair our brain, we're able to heal our emotions. We cannot heal our emotions by talking about them. In fact, the only way to heal our emotions is to get rid of our emotions. Because emotions are ancient survival programs, programmed into a predatory and primitive region in the brain. A brain that lives on scarcity, a brain that lives on fear, a brain that projects its own turmoil onto others. To One Spirit Medicine, you'll learn how you can get rid of all of your emotions and replace them with feelings. Feelings are authentic. They don't last. Emotions linger. Emotions keep us angry with someone for 20 minutes or 20 days or 20 years. When we repair the brain, we heal ourselves of our emotions. And this book will tell you how you can do that in six weeks. The second step is that we need to repair our guts. The human body is a colony. 90% of our DNA belongs to microbes that are not even us. 600 different varieties of microbes that inhabit our gut and our skin and our mouth and our microbe colonies are out of balance. In fact, so much so that we can no longer trust our gut instinct anymore because our gut has gone bad. In One Spirit Medicine, we teach you how you can repair your gut through probiotics, through specialty probiotics that bring balance to the colony. Because when your gut is out, your instinct is gone. You start gravitating towards the wrong people, the wrong relationships, and the wrong decisions, and miss the great opportunities in life. When we reestablish our gut, what happens is that our allergies disappear. Our brain fog clears. We're able to sleep and to rest. And then our body is able to establish balance once again. The third cornerstone of One Spirit Medicine is that we must experience states of communion with all of life, what has been described in the ancient literature as states of enlightenment and that are available to us once we repair our brain. In these states of communion, we understand the oneness of spirit and we are able to download from the great hard drive of the universe the techniques for dreaming a new world into being, for dreaming our health into being, for dreaming our relationships into being, for working actively with our abilities to create the world with beauty and with health and with generosity and to create really the world that we want our children's children to inherit. Mm -hmm. Yes, beautiful. My, 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 my. Now uh, the doctors work for many, many years, and mm -hmm. I think he he uh, was in Romania. Um, no, he no? was in, in Germany. In Germany. This this year. No, this yeah. year. Uh, many years before. How uh, many years? Yes, 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 he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. he to, yeah. And One spirit medicine, mm -hmm. starting with the em emotions. So we are conquered by fear, but all this primitive, ancient way of dealing with uh, the universe, I don't know how to, to put it in words. So this is the third step, mm -hmm. emotions. Yeah, so for us is to understand because um, that we are, we, for sure, you know, we have a physical body with the brain, I mean, mm -hmm. our emotions in our mind, mm -hmm. you know, the, and uh, with all the beliefs and identifications and roles and projections there. And uh, our soul and our spirit, 
So like uh, different layers or levels to work. And what address uh, one spirit medicine is the wholeness of that. So we can do a lot of um, energetic work, but if the brain is damaged, is not updated, mm -hmm. or if our gut, our liver is not, our physical body is not detoxed, is still, you know, a lot of things that we don't need there. Um, then we we're be, uh, start to be thinking, oh, now I need another session, I need to do the next, uh, I don't know, retreat, I need to do yeah, this yeah, and this. Yes. But actually what perhaps would be more helpful is to see, okay, what is going on in my brain? What is going on in my gut? What is going on in my physical body? How is going on in me? And in, in, it's what I'm feeling and sensing as an emotion is an emotion or is a disbalance in my yeah. gut? And mm -hmm. um, so up when we have a very clear brain, then is certainty, is clarity. With a very healthy brain, mm -hmm. so the observer, you know, when talking about meditation, yes. so the observer, when you start to feed and nurture your brain with omegas and, and good fats, you know, mm -hmm. so the observer start to, to develop more, so it's more clarity. And that is what, um, in, in my case, for example, I, I started to def to have, um, I'm going to say, so I started to see more clear, detached from all the stories, my reactions, my behaviors, and, uh, and to start to observe them. Instead, like a movie, you know, it's like the the movie, yeah, the movie the of movie, our yeah, stories. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. happened to me, and they're blaming this and there, and I'm oh my god, I'm so, you know, poor here, and the other are responsible mm -hmm. for my happiness, and la la la. So your inner space increased, so it, you you can detach the away. When uh, when the brain is not healthy, and the gut is not mm -hmm. working well, and the physical body and our emotions mm -hmm. are very entangled mm -hmm. with that. We're inside the movie, mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. movie of our stories is driving the car, you know, yeah. it's driving the direction of our lives. Yes. So um, you can do a lot of spiritual work, but it's missing, still missing this part. So it's, we, are, we are connected, as I say, so our physical body, the psyche, the mind, the emotions, mm -hmm. and our spirit, our soul. So taking care of, of all of them. You know, it's, it's a lot of work, but it's possible. So you take care of the nutrition, you detox the body, you detox the emotional body, you detox them somehow, the energetic body with energetic work. And, uh, and all of the sun start to have more certainty and clarity. And that is the essence that we talk at the beginning mm -hmm. and this alignment that we talk in the beginning, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, how can we align what I'm doing, what I feel and what I mm -hmm. see? Um, it start to adjust to, to come the pieces together. Yeah, so a multi-layer work, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not uh, uh, a one-point work. For example, what shall I eat? Is not this the the, the in cosmic matter? Mm -hmm. Of course, it counts in in mm -hmm. uh, in this uh, um, holistic perspective. So, uh, yeah. And that is coming more and more, Matthew, you know, so the, the new medicine, the new medicine is, is, uh, is, um, um, is more holistic, you know, it's the traditional medicine plus the energy mm -hmm. medicine. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's the medicine mm -hmm. from the future. Mm -hmm. We need to address all these levels at mm -hmm. once, but mm -hmm. you work specifically in each of them. You brought a book with you. Yeah. We have, it, we have there the book. Uh, shaman he healer in sage. sage yeah yeah shaman healer and sage is one of the bestsellers books from dr visoldo mm -hmm. and um i really like this book i love them it's mm -hmm. um for those who are interested uh and don't know too much about energy medicine and these ancient mm -hmm. teachings so it's a great book it's um they describe is a description about the anatomy of the energetic body of the mm -hmm. 
um, and some of the most, the core of the intervention. So the shamans believes that uh, we have an uh, energetic body that surrounds our physical body, and our energetic body is the one who holds the imprints or the blueprint, you can say, you know. So it's, it's information, and this information informs the soul, informs the mind, informs the physical body. In all tradition, we may find uh, this, uh, no, no, this yeah. reality of the ener ener energetic body exactly. with some differences. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And um, so, and in, in, in this book, yeah, there are, there are these um, description also from, from some of the shamanic interventions. Mm -hmm. So the we teach us in, in class and four winds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm, here on the table, um, our viewers may see some some tools or some. Yeah. Yes. So th those tools are used in opening. Yeah. So in general, yeah. So then, then uh, shamanic mm. <laughs> shamans tools, so rattle and flourish water. The flourish water, yes. And the, um, and also and here the medicine bundle. Medicine bundle. Yeah, there are a collection, you know, it's a collection of different sacred objects. And, um, mm -hmm. and um, so the, let's come to the, to the medicine bundle or the mesa, which the is mesa. a connection of, mm -hmm. of stones. A collection of stones. Of, yeah, and then um, traditionally, traditionally, um, the, um, calling and the mountain how how the community or the person knows that's being called from spirit to follow this path the calling the calling you know how would they do that or how they know because the lightning comes mm -hmm. and when the lightning comes and they survive the lightning or they're very very close to a lightning you know because of the high mountains and the, and, and mm -hmm. the andes mm -hmm. so the, everybody knows that it's a calling from spirit so they're going to look for a mentor um, to teach the to teach this path, and uh, and in the process of the training, the students uh, will have will receive directly from Mother Earth, directly from a certain space, a stone, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's related with the healing process of the person. Mm -hmm. So. Um, mm -hmm. What Alberto has done, he has synthesized all these ancient teachings mm -hmm. and his background in neuroscience, and he created a curriculum and founded a school where um, we teach students, you know, to be modern shamans. And in the Mesa, um, you go into, f I will say, first a journey with four steps. One is the way of the healer. Uh, is in the, the first part of the process and the journey and um, to heal your old stories and to shed them you know, all at once like the serpent, they shed all the old skin all at once, not piece by piece, telling about it, not piece by piece, you know, working about it, no, all the of them skin. and transform that and start to be a person that walks in beauty in the earth. Then in the second part of the process, the second part of the journey is the way of the luminous warrior. luminous warrior. And a luminous warrior is a person of power, but the, it's a person who um, lives in peace. And how can I live in peace, you know, if I'm carrying so much anger or uh, fear, resentment, or, you know, which we all human beings have been going through it. So emotions um, when our emotions triggers us more than 20 minutes, it's a signal for us to know, okay, I think I need to heal something here. And to start to see if no longer anger lives within me. So I'm going to be attracting peace and be a person of peace. And the person that they calm the situation, the, um, it's, uh, it's going to be totally different, you know? So it's... Um, yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful part on the journey. And then we go, and the next step, which is the way of the sage. So after the after the uh, yeah after warrior. the way of the healer, the way of the luminous warrior, we go into the way of the sage, and it's connected. Mm -hmm. 
a person, a sage, a person of wisdom, so that you no longer learn your lessons through situations in a hard way, so that you learn your lessons directly to the divine, that you, we no longer need somebody to intervene or speak for us with the divine. And although um, I was grown in a religion, you know, um, and have somebody talking for me with spirit or the divine, so native people, they don't have that mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. spirituality was before religion. And uh, so the connection with nature, the forces of nature is directly, the, we all can do that. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that is in the way of the sages, you are the one that you're looking for. You know, mm -hmm. and um, beautiful teachings there too. And uh, and then we come to the last. You know, we, I'm looking because you see in the mesa there are these four corners, mm -hmm. and uh, and then at the end we come and the fourth step, which is the way of the visionary. A visionary. And to become a person of vision. So. Um, sometimes we have somebody bringing visions for us or dreams for us and we work for somebody else, fulfilling the visions and dreams yes. from somebody else. So how can I, you know, uh, be a person of vision? For that is a medicine there mm -hmm. that bring us much, much, much higher of the situation per se. And you start to see all the past, the present and the future, who you are becoming. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, and for that have to do with destiny, no longer from fate, no longer for uh, a force that, let, I'm going to give you an example. Uh, if my grandmother and my grandfather and my, my great-great-grandmother and my great-great-grandfather, all they were musicians, mm -hmm. I have a high percentage that I'm going to be a musician too. Mm -hmm. But how about if I want to be an engineer? Uh, you know, mm -hmm. it's, not going, it's a bit tough, but if my destiny in mm -hmm. my vision and my dreams and my potentials, mm -hmm. that is the point, if my great potentials are being mm -hmm. expressed through mm -hmm. being an engineer, uh, how can I change that? It start yeah. to work into my destiny. All the healings, mm -hmm. all the journey before mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we support me to mm -hmm. start to move all these layers, all these lines of fate into destiny yeah. and and for that um we need to attach to the stories we need to elevate ourselves we need mm -hmm. um we um we need some sharpness you know to see the details and see also the micro and the macro picture mm -hmm. of our lives mm -hmm. and our lives is not only here what happened to me what I'm doing is who I am becoming. And when talking about this, and Alberto mentioned it too, is how about to think who I'm becoming in 10,000 years from now? You know, not yeah. only, wow. and, and many from us, we're busy and occupied with the next vacation, mm -hmm. with the, and it's okay, you know, with, if you have kids, if they're going to mm -hmm. do great at school or, um, maybe two years, maybe, three you years, know, but not exactly ten. or ten years yeah. from now, not you know, thousands this. of years. But how about to think? And that is why the expression or the definition who we are. We are luminous beings, mm -hmm. so we are spiritual beings living in and uh, in, in, in mm -hmm. this experience in this earth. Mm -hmm. So it's a combination of both, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. being grounded, mm -hmm. doing what we need to do, and, mm -hmm. and, and be focused and responsible for that, and with happiness mm -hmm. and sacredness. Mm -hmm. and at the same time to have this vision, this great picture mm -hmm. of our journey, of our destiny. Yeah. And, uh, and that is from the question I'm going to entangle with the one, with the woman, when she's coming, mm -hmm. she'll say, you know what, I have done all this, mm -hmm. I have reached all that, but I'm not mm -hmm. satisfied, yes. something is missing, what is? It's to look for the destiny, mm -hmm. and your mm -hmm. destiny is something else, it's something, yeah. um, it's unknown. And that mm -hmm. is beautiful because it's unknown, it's unfamiliar, and our potentials there, they're going to bring so much beauty of and mystery who you and creativity. Really. Shall exactly. we, we see another short video with yeah, you, sure. Maria Clara? Yeah. Yeah. We, some keepers, talk about a new era of the luminous ones that we all are going to be 
our becoming is to be a luminous person. And you see when somebody is happy, how they illuminate all the room. Just or somebody laughing from inside themselves, illuminate everything. And from so simple could be to be a luminous one. Sometimes people we get caught in spirituality and consciousness and all the things because it's more trying to. I don't have the, the, the background in, in, in knowledge and information of this. And my understanding comes from simple pictures, like nature. It's amazing science. It's amazing because it explains us and, and reach us how we can see things, life, everything ourselves, everything. It's nice to know it. And, and it's so complex, like science too. It's really complex. And at the same time, it's so simple. This is the paradox. I hear that spirit teach us through paradox. Beyond paradox, as peace. Paradox. Yeah. yeah. When um, we find a paradox, this is a window, in fact. Mm -hmm. a, ch a chance, an opportunity to see better, to better see. Yeah. Yeah. Huge wisdom also mm -hmm. in a paradox, you know. Mm -hmm. We already big, big, big wisdom there in this mm -hmm. space. Mm -hmm. From the known and unknown, from the certain and uncertain, mm -hmm. you know, for this, uh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Maria Clara, we, we only have two minutes um, to to live in beauty, mm. to hear our calling. Mm. Not in a hard way, yes, but in the exactly. easy way. Exactly. So, mm -hmm. yeah, so to the practice of beauty, the practice of beauty is um, you can find beauty in all situations, also in the challenges, also in the difficulties. Some people see just the difficulty, but they don't see the beauty into the difficulty. Mm -hmm. Or some people, you know, they can have anything or everything and, uh, and still don't see beauty. So yeah, the yes. beauty, it, it's, it's, it's always to look, you know, very, um, for this little window and see, okay, and you pick the flower. You know, mm -hmm. and you pick the flower from the situation that you are in, and then it's going to transform differently. It's going to transform mm -hmm. into a garden, mm -hmm. of the garden of teachings, of wisdom, of experience. Mm. Beauty in the front of me, beauty in the back, yeah. in the left, in the right, the, the Mother Earth and the exactly. Fathers. Yes. And to find the beauty within us is nice. also very important. So sometimes we address many things outside in the spirit yeah, or, yeah. you know, and, uh, and we separate sometimes ourselves from the divine, but it's, you know, also within, you know, within. The beauty of our body? Our yeah. body, our mind, our soul, our who we are. Yes, <laughs> yes. Thank you very much, Maria Clara, for, yeah. for sharing with us yeah. and for creating this space yeah, in the four you. winds. Thank you to you for having me, for inviting me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much. Yeah. And